Hi, thanks for joining me today. The card that I'm featuring is uh, the one that is currently on my blog or will be on my blog later today. I'm calling this the Poppy Moments card. I thought I would do a brief little tutorial to help you with the assembly of this card. Uh, the card, all the materials needed for the card you'll find listed on my blog. Hopefully you uh, have uh, are watching this video for my blog. If not, it's at www.creativestampingwithmargaret.com. But this card uses the Peaceful Moments die set. We're not using the uh, other ma materials in the set. We're just using the Poppy Moments dies as well as the So Sentimental, let's see if I can locate that. Both of these items are located in the uh, mini catalog that is valid through the end of, or through June 2nd. But uh, the So Sentimental, we're using the Stitch So Sweetly dies, as well as on the card that you see and that was is being featured on my blog, uh, uses the sentiment, uh, one of the sentiments from So Sentimental. You'll also uh, uh, notice other cards coming up soon using that same set in our May to go card class where we had uh, our virtual class this month. Uh, I decided to focus on using that So Sentimental bundle. Just sort of a heads up, all the materials that I'm using on the card today will be in the new upcoming catalog. So, um, so these are items carrying over, which is, is great news. So let's get started with the card. As I mentioned, the materials needed for the card are written out on my blog. So you'll be able to go back and just refer to those so you don't need to take notes. But what you're gonna need is a thick whisper white card base and that's uh, five and a half by eight and a half. Of course, score in the middle at four and a quarter, and that gives you your card base. Then you will also need a piece of Whisper White cut at five and a quarter by four. This has been texture embossed using the subtle 3D embossing folder. So we can go ahead and put these two layers together and in the magic of TV there we have it done so then the next step will be assembling the uh, leaves and flowers so now that we have our card base together you will need from the dies you will need to cut three of the slender, this is what I call the slender leaves. You'll need to cut three leaves of the soft seafoam green. I've already assembled one, which I'll assemble the others to show you. And you'll need to cut three of the coordinating overlays. You will also need to cut two of the soft seafoam small leaves as well as the overlays in old olive cardstock for those. For the flowers, you need to cut two of the smaller flowers from the dies using the using vellum cardstock and then two of the overlays for the, the that coordinates with that flower using petal pink and then you'll cut two of the stamens, one for each of the flowers. So let's get started with the assembly on this. Of course, while you're cutting, go ahead and cut a base of the petal pink using the Stitch So Sweetly die to coordinate with the greeting or the sentiment that we're using. As I said, the card sentiment came from So Sentimental wishing you much happiness today and always. I stamped that in uh, the black ink 
tuxedo black, but you can also find other sentiments and do it a different, uh, you know, vary it up as I'm going to do on the card today. This sentiment comes from Dandy Line. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Dandy Line Wishes from the annual catalog. And I decided to stamp it on a piece of Whisper White. This was a scrap from my scrap pile. Cut it with the um, stitched dies, the oval. And I'm going to layer those just to give it a different look. Still very attractive. So let's get started with the assembly. As you see here, I've done two of these where I've attached the overlay. And I've also done one of the flowers. But I'm going to show you how I've done that using a little bit of the multi. You can use the multi-purpose liquid glue or you can also use the fine tip glue. But what we basically are going to do is just take a couple dots of the glue. It doesn't take a lot. Just a few little dots here and there on that overlay. And it lines up perfectly along the edges. So now we have our two smaller leaves prepared to use. And then we do the same thing with the slender leaves, just adding dots, little dots here and there of adhesive. And the great thing about this, this lines up just along that edge. It just adds that extra little touch to, to the leaves and gives it a little bit of coordination. I love this combination of old olive and soft seafoam green. So we just add our dots of adhesive. This multi-purpose glue is perfect for this because we'll does take a moment to dry so it gives you a little bit of time for adjustment to ensure that you get those over the edges. See it's in there. I've got that one off a little but I can take take my finger and just push it to get it lined up a little. that overlay. So here we have our three, whoops, three slender leaves. Then we have our two smaller leaves. And now I'm going to assemble the flower. So I've done one of the flowers here, but I just want to give you a tip on how I did this with the vellum. So let me put the top back on this glue for a moment first. So all I've done for assembling this is I take right in the middle on the back of the flower in that center part and I'm put, gonna use a mini glue dot there and then just that's all the adhesive I've used on that is the one mini glue dot and it doesn't really show that easily in the card but they're not connected so that petal pink overlay on that flower, that vellum flower, lifts and curls a little, which just gives it beautiful dimension. The card just has wonderful dimension. Then I'm going to take a touch of the multi-purpose glue and put it in the area where the stamen will line up. And if you'll notice, there's a little curve on this uh, overlay piece, and the curve of the stamen lines up 
with that and it just goes right in place as such. So we have the all of this, um, the materials now ready to add to our label. Instead of laying everything out on the card, trying to lay each of the, the leaves and then the flowers, I opted to add them to the back of the uh, label that I'm going to be using and doing the assembly that way. Plus, I added dimensionals, many dimensionals, to the back of all of them, so it made it, makes it much easier. So what I, what I first do for the assembly is just sort of lay things out on the card just to make sure that I'm getting the idea. And yes, that's how I know that I want that to go. So first, I'm going to add my flowers because I, I want them to be in the front so of course when you're doing assembly as such when we're attaching it to the label what you attach to the label that you want to bring forward is what you put down on the back of the label first so I turn my label over view it just as if I'm planning it so there's the first one so by attaching these first, they are more forward, so they are more prominent versus being in the back, being added after the leaves. So then we just, so now we've got these two attached to the back, and then I would like a leaf in this area. So there again, I'm just attaching these with mini glue dots. Gives me a little bit more play. And so when you go to add these longer leaf, the slim leaf fronds, you may want to have your card, just take your card and just sort of hold it on there to make sure that you're getting things where you would like. And on this, I'm going to tilt it just a little bit more because that gives me a little bit more room. So see, see how I've done that. Then we'll continue adding the pieces. That's going to be perfect. And it's okay if it overhangs the edge just a little. Like so. And then we have this last Last leaf to add. And we'll tuck it in like so. Okay. So now we have that. So then the next thing to do is we will add dimensionals. And I used a mini dimensionals since they seem to fit perfectly on the back of these slender leaves. So it does did not require any trimming or cutting of the dimensionals. So I just continue to add them and
and I always go overboard. I just don't want these to this to come off and want to make sure that it has good height. And I put a few in the center just to, to hold it in place. So let's take all of these off. Take the backs off. I'm use my take it pick tool. This is wonderful for helping get, get those little tabs back lift it off. We'll get all of these. That one. Okay, there we go. Just didn't want to release. We'll take all of these off and then we'll position it on the card and finish the card up. It should finish up quite quickly. But this is a great card to send. The sentiment I chose is for wedding. I, I have some friends that have postponed weddings due to the social distancing and guidelines that have been put in, but they are moving along with their plans to to have have a ceremony soon. So this way I've got cards ready to use. Of course you can easily change the sentiment out, make it a birthday card or a special thinking of you type card. So then we just attach that to the front of the card. And then with the sentiment that I chose, that I took from the dandelion wishes, I'm going to put it on the center, center, center it on the petal pink label, which just gives us a different little different little look. I love that layering aspect. It just really uh, highlights things, highlights the sentiment that you're that you've chosen. Plus it the stitching just adds that extra little pizzazz. So now we're just going to finish off by embellishing around the card some and I'm using the uh, basic adhesive backed sequins and I'm just putting a few of those around the card. I'm using the white. They also have petal pink in there that would be very pretty. So just, just randomly place a few of the sequins where you think you would like them to go. I opted to sort of highlight around the leaves, um, but you could choose wherever you would like to highlight. Or you could leave it off because the card looked good without it, but I got sort of carried away and wanted to add a few more things. So on <clears throat> the stamens, I'm taking the smallest of the basic pearls, the smallest size, and I'm adding three of those to the stamen. That just add of the flowers, that just adds that last little extra touch to the card. And I do find it easiest to put the one in the center and then add the other two on each side of that one in the roughly the center. And then the final touch that I put on the card was I took a piece 
of the uh, Pink Petal Metallic Edge Ribbon. I just tied a, lot, a loose knot in it and adhered that to the card. Of course, I sat down and do not see the ribbon for that card, but I think you can can do that without me showing you how to do it. But you just tie a little knotted ribbon and add it to the card. Actually, it even looks good without it. So if you don't have that ribbon or decide that enough is enough, then proceed forward. But hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be posting more videos in the future showing how I've made different projects. And thanks for stopping in.